Hello and welcome to another video. Today we'll be doing a vlog and we've got a few things to cover. The first and most importantly, Two Olden Toys and I have gotten together again and uh, he's planning on hosting another contest which has just been announced and he's invited me again to judge and help out. It's a uh, Flags of the World thing. He would like uh, you to buy a kit and paint it to the theme of a country's flag. Uh, something very similar to G Gundam though it's sort of in response to the World Cup and it was a suggestion from the previous contest. Uh, a second uh, restriction on it um, is the kit has to be under 800 yen. We would like uh, people to practice on older kits that has flaws and problems uh, which are avoided in the master grades and high grades. This uh, reasonably sized kit is retailed at 400 yen. You will see straight over there, that's the recommended retail price that you'll find on kits on the barcode. So when you're looking at your collection at home, if that number is under 800, it complies. If you're looking to buy a kit and you're not too sure because they're normally priced in the currency of your country, log on to Hobby Link Japan or Hobby Search and have a look at the price there. If uh, that price is also under 800 yen, um, I'm willing to accept that. Another rule is we would like the kits just to be out of the box or unmodified. Uh, just uh, whatever comes in the kit itself when you're building is all you need to do. Follow the instructions and assemble the kit. Of course, uh, f filling in seam lines is perfectly acceptable. Uh, just work with what you have and try to do the very best you can. Second bit of news is I've been getting a lot of excellent feedback from my airbrush tutorials. I'm working on the next installment which is painting the GNX. This is how far I've gotten so far so you all can look forward to watching that in the next coming week. Other big news in the general Gunpla community is Ni Kyung is planning to close his blog. I don't really have any personal or comments to make behalf of this channel though I do highly recommend that you read his final postings. I'll uh, leave a link at the bottom. He's generally displeased with the community and he wrote up on what he's unhappy with. He's pretty much speaking his personal mind instead of having a professional mind frame of doing his news reports. I'll also include a, another blog by a fellow called Buster Bean. He has a counter argument against uh, Ni Kyung's uh, reasonings. So you've got two sides of an argument to read and debate among yourselves what's going on. Uh, recommended read. Please check it out. In the YouTube community, I'd like to give a shout to two channels. One is the Ghost of Xeon. This is made by an Australian who runs the website ghostofzeon.com it's a fantastic Gunpla resource website I highly recommend people to check it out I'll leave a link at the bottom this channel is very similar to mine the only difference is the is a lot less posts and it's not as well known though the hobbyist is a very skilled fella and he took out the second prize in Bakuk Australia He's a modeler I highly respect and I recommend you all watch all of his tutorials. He has a lot to a lot of knowledge to pass on. A second channel I'd like to shout out to is Jason768. He's a newer modeler to the community and to General Gumpla, though instead of putting tutorials he decided to post experiments of him learning the ropes of the hobby particularly paint test he experiments with as many paints as he can get his hands on in his local area including cheap alternatives and well-known hobby brands 
check him out, subscribe to him. Over time, he may do some very interesting work. Who knows? Also, for modelers from Australia, just a heads up that Gundam Australia is back online. It has a new location. It's a lot more flashier and professional looking. And uh, it's starting to attract quite a few members at the moment with uh, raving discussions. So if you're a modeler and you're from Australia, and if you'd like to join our community, check these guys out. They're pretty cool. I'll leave a link again at the bottom of the comment of this video. Another update. I've also been working on some other videos uh, fairly low-key in between this airbrush tutorial and I picked up some Kutotsu Ginsan or a friend actually bought it for me I've uh, tried it out, it's a buffing powder that turns plastic into a realistic looking chrome effect it's a uh, pretty nifty stuff, I think you'll be impressed with the tutorial I'll leave a link at the bottom of someone else testing the product out on some plastic spoons. And the second product that I did obtain was some decals from Samuel Decals. Uh, Samuel's very well known in the uh, Gunpla modeling community and this is the first time I'm trying out his uh, services and uh, product. And I must admit his uh, reputation is true to his actual service. So. Look forward to those two mini tutorials when the airbrushing tutorials are over. I know in past videos I've made promises like building the Star Wars speeder bike and doing a full step-by-step -step tutorial of uh, building the Fasago from snapping it all together to gluing to putting to painting pretty much showing everything that I've taught you guys via this channel in the one kit fuck yeah and I've also got the other idea of building a resin kit on this channel and trying a resin kit for the first time and with all these promises unfortunately I can only be doing one thing at a time so I'll let you guys uh, leave comments below or let me know which project you want me to work on straight after the airbrushing tutorial be it the Star Wars speeder bike I'll do some sort of fancy modification the long Fasago tutorials which will be a straight build straight color or an attempt a macros kit in resin unfortunately a bit of my stashes are fallen so that was what the commotion was a few seconds ago. Another thing I'd like to get around to is reviewing this custom. Finishing this kit off, it's a promise type robot from an anime called Zabungle. Never saw it, it's just a weird looking robot and I've been filming bits and pieces and taking photos of the build nothing too serious but one day I'll be able to string it together as some sort of work in progress video and finally my serious build at the moment which is very slow progress any spare time I have a little play with this guy and uh, yeah I'm doing a lot of uh, plat plating or styrene modifications it's a Galbaldi, so uh, once that's finished in the very far future, enjoy a video about this guy. It's just started raining. Uh, unfortunately, having a metal roof, that's not good for videos. And that's about everything with updates. So thank you for watching, and until next time, and don't forget to let me know what you'd like to see between the Star Wars speeder bike, the Fizago, and the... Macross resin kit. Till next time.